Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's half past three in the morning. I set my alarm. I've woke up. I'm having a cup of coffee. Uh, Lemmy's over there looking at me like, <laughs> like I'm fucking nuts. All right, Lems. But yet, every once in a blue moon, I like to go on a mission. Uh, it just brews up my body, and I just want to just, just go and switch off. And it's just my kind of meditation, if that makes any sense. Whether it be swimming, running, bike, biking, walking, whatever it may be. I mean, because of my broken rib, I can't do much, so I can walk. But um, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna finish my coffee, gonna put my rucksack on, put my trainers on, and just gonna walk. And I'm going to just try and do a big loop of Cardiff. Taking some fresh air. The weather's going to be nice. It's not going to be raining. I get to see sunrise as well. I think I get to the top of Kaifuli Mountain just as the sun rises. So I've timed that one right. And yeah, that's why I'm doing it really. Just to clear my mind. My head's starting to go a bit cuckoo. And uh, if I'm really honest, some of my old vices are starting to creep back in. So I'm just off to um, sort of try and recharge my mind again and sort of come back with a clearer head and feel a little bit better anyway i'm gonna go hit the road i shall update you on my nice little walk around cardiff see you later it's quarter past five in the morning it's lovely and peaceful quiet best time of the day nobody about ace ah obviously it's getting darker it won't be long before autumn's here so i'm just making the most of this weather before the winter comes. I hate the winter, but this is the country we live in. Half past eight in the morning out. I've been walking since the five o'clock, I think it is, yeah. Five o'clock this morning, so. Yeah, it's quite nice, I've made it up over Cuffley Mountain and watched sunrise. And, uh, yeah, now I'm on the Taft Trail, which leads straight to Cardiff City Centre. The River Taft is just down by there. It's really calm. But yeah, so far so good. Really enjoying it. Good for the mind, good for the soul. Nice bit of uh, meditation. Nice bit of sorting your head out. Nice little walk. Morning. Oh. Lots of people walking their dogs. Lots of people running. Lots of people cycling. This is the uh, main route into Cardiff. I think this goes all the way up to Brecon Beacons. They actually do a run, uh, an ultramarathon. I think it's a 50 mile ultramarathon from Brecon to Cardiff down the Taft Trail. I did it many years ago. Me and my brother did it. <laughs> we decided to do it with fucking hardly any training. Ah, big mistake. But uh, hey, that's another story. I'm still on the Taft Trail and uh, I've literally just behind me is my school, my old high school. And if anyone remembers on Dirty Sanchez, I used to jump up the second floor window, me and my friend, Roger O'Neill. That's when I wanted to be a stuntman. And I just took a look at, look at what my head is now. I don't know what was going through my head when I was a kid, but there was something wrong with me. But anyway, I'm at a spot now that during our lunch breaks and stuff and when we were in school, we used to come here and chill out and uh, we used to mitch off sometimes. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, yeah, we used to chill out here, but it's, it's completely changed and the water's just taking it all away. There's the weir in the background. And the rowing club. I'm now four hours and 44 minutes into my walk. It's a quarter to 10 in the morning and uh, we're almost 17 miles into the walk. Uh, my friend Tim Corrigan, he's got a, a chain of cafes in town called Milk and Sugar. So I think I'm gonna pop in there and get myself a vegan breakfast to charge me up and then I'll carry on walking then down towards Cardiff Bay. So let's go and say hello to Tim as I'm walking over the bridge. 
in the distance. I don't know if well, any skateboarders out there will know my first uh, pro board, panic board, and many of my other boards. Uh, the artist for it was Pete Fowler, and there's his artwork just by, just by there on that water tower. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, he did my uh, he did my first board. He did uh, Matt Pritchard and Friends, Matt Pritchard and Fiends, and a few others as well. And just behind me there is uh, Millennium Stadium. Well, formerly known as Principality Stadium now, but it used to be the Millennium Stadium. So uh, this is like a <laughs> Richard's tour guide to Cardiff. Anyway, I'm about to go and get some breakfast. I'm starving. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> Boys. I said I was coming in for a vegan breakfast, and I got my vegan breakfast. Check this out. Yeah. Now, excuse me, I'm off to go and eat my breakfast. Good to see you, Tim. You Cheers too, the man. Brekkie. You too. See you later. <laughs> see you later, guys. Toodle pep. On the road again. That was an absolutely banging vegan breakfast. Uh, milk and sugar. One central square in Cardiff. Go and check them out. Tim Corrigan, who owns uh, Milk and Sugar. I met him about years ago now, back in the Sanchez days. Actually, Stuart Cable from Stereo Phonics, the late Stuart Cable, he uh, introduced me to him because we went to the Kerrang Awards. Uh, me, Dane, Pants, Joyce. Stuart Cable was hosting the awards and um, we hung out with him backstage after I got pissed, blah, blah, blah. And he said, oh, I'll take you out next week in Cardiff. So I said, yeah, cool, man, no worries. And uh, he took me to a bar called Soda Bar. Uh, it's a little little doorway in St. Mary Street in Cardiff and you go downstairs, it was a nightclub. He introduced me to Tim Colligan, who owns Milk and Sugar. And uh, I'll never forget it. He, saw, he sat us down in the cove. And uh, Tim came along and he and he just put a big bottle of Jack Daniels on the table for us and the rest is history. That night went absolutely bonkers. Me and Cable were uh, smashing, smashing his plastic chairs on each other's heads. Then that became my uh, second home then, really. We spent almost every single weekend there. So that's how I got to know Tim Corrigan. And I'm currently down near the bay. So we're almost time to do a loop back home to my house. There's Cardiff City Centre in the distance and just where my finger is, this is the mountains in the, just in the distance, I live by there and where we watched sunrise earlier we were at the top of the mountain up there. <laughs> I think it is. We've walked all the way round, come all the way to where we are now, and that is 23 and a half miles to get to here. Whoo! We're uh, 28 miles in now. My Garmin said the battery's low, so I'm trying to get home before it runs out. I have my Tour of Cardiff, 73 Macintosh Place. That was the first flat that I moved into when I left my parents, who did never with my brother, Trig. <sighs> Pritchard's daughter of Cardiff. <sighs> when he went off far uh, away from my house, I'm just hoping I get there before my Garmin runs out. <laughs> Happy fucking days! That was a proper big F word then, wasn't it? Oh, I just sat down, just got back from a walk, just over 30 miles, 4,000 calories, I think it was about eight hours, something like that. And I hope you enjoyed uh, Matthew Pritchard's little tour of Cardiff. I'm going to have a shower now, I'm going to get rehydrated, I'm going to eat some more, and then go into town, go and see the boys in SWID Tattoo Bab Shop, and then I'm going to stick my feet up. And I might go for a pint with my parents later on my local pub. That was vlog number, I don't know what one, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Ciao for now. Tout le bonjour. Bye bye bye. Petit pois. Ooh, what a good pee.